Steve-O with Kaleva's River School. I'm here to kind of give you guys a little run through on the Billy Goat, which is the newest creeker from Waka. Uh, what I really like about what they did with this boat is that they made it uh, good for smaller paddlers. So I'm about 155 and this boat is perfect for me. It fits small, it's nice and narrow. Uh, keeps me in good contact with the boat. And uh, they added, you know, the rocker that Walker's known for and uh, just keeps you up and over and skips like a dream out of drops. So it's got the standard uh, thigh hooks in here like Walker has, the same seat, adjustable bulkhead, ratchet straps for the back van, which are super comfortable. We had a little bit of an issue with some of the boats coming in. Um, where the foam on the inside you see here on the thigh grip the foam was bad foam that Walker received so uh, some of the boats the thigh grips moved a little bit more than they should but you can see this is this is pretty stiff and this is a good batch of foam uh, so we've been switching some of those out as people that have purchased them come back to us but um, but yeah so great boat um, you know again I'm 155 511 and this boat fits me great um, you can see it's got great rocker profile through the whole boat. Not a ton of stern rocker, but we can look here underneath at the bottom of the boat and kind of get a good look at this hull from the stern. And you can see it's got the nice lines along the side for edges that help you kind of carve in and out and get this boat to where you want it to go without too much effort, definitely not a potato boat. Um, it also has good bow rocker. All right, you see the ton of bow rocker and the edge lines end uh, uh, up near the bow so they don't continue all the way through the bow and they're nice and aggressive and they kind of fade out here in the beginning of the boat in the front side. And that's really nice because then you're not catching your edge on the bow when you're moving things with the front of the boat. And I've honestly never had any trouble on this boat paddling it. I paddled the green at like five inches and not too big of a deal. You can see there's still plenty of edge there. I haven't grinded, grounded down too much. Um, but these new boats all come with, this, with uh, the new plastic that uh, Waka has. And Kenny says that he's the only one that has this plastic combination. And according to him, there's only been one broken boat from the new plastic. So what's nice about it is it's really nice and light for a creek boat and it, it, it hasn't broken yet. So, um, so yeah, so, you know, 155 pounds, this boat would be good for, you know, hundred to 170, I would say. Um, comes in at nine foot in length and uh, it's not as wide as the typical Walker boats. Um, it's nice and narrow and I like a good boat and I can see over the deck really well. What's really nice is that, you know, sitting in this boat, it's, you sit so much higher than the cockpit that, uh, you know, you don't feel like the boat's swallowing you like some of these other creakers feel like this boat. You sit nice and high so you can see where you're going and, uh, and not have that cockpit in the front here right at your chest. So. Yeah, you'll see, I'm going to paddle it on the falls. You'll see some lines on there and, and uh, yeah, check it out. If you want to try it out, you can come try one out at Kaleva on the Potomac or um, at Highwater Hobbies. They have a billy goat that you can demo as well on the Upper Yawk or somewhere out there in, in West Virginia. So, yeah, come take a peek. It's a great boat. I think it's a great boat for women and smaller paddlers. Um, it paddles most like the original 9R uh, without that uh, weird party line that the 9R had. Um, so yeah, check it out. See how this thing skips. <laughs> Turns really nice on the edge. Bounces on the surface.
got pummel coming up. Solomon S turn and the Billy Goat. Not at that time. All right, let's see how fast this thing is attaining. Like butter. Yeah.